five girls. Could you imagine five girls? That's a lot of estrogen in your family. So that could be leaking right there. It doesn't appear to be, but just to be safe because it has been nicked, I'm gonna replace and cut that off and make it make it better for you. We are here with the owner of OHB, and that's Oak Highland Brewing Company. Oak Highland's Brewery, yes. In Garland, Texas. I, I'm talking him into making a, a beer just for us at Onassis, the new Greek restaurant, and also to serve here at Opa. I'm thinking Greek God of Hops. Okay, we'll make something happen. What something do you think? Amazing. Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah, artwork should be amazing for it. Hazies are all the craze right now. Something citrusy would be amazing. Brad with OHB. Um, hopefully, uh, he will come up with something fantastic. Until then, we will be serving your beer on tap at, at Opa Greek Tavern. Man, cheers. Yeah, it, it sucks to be uh, a, a craft beer owner because they kind of fall under the uh, the bar category. And as as nice as he was just there on camera, he's actually suffering pretty bad. I mean, they don't they don't sell food, and they've suffered a lot more shutdowns than we have as a restaurant owner. So, um, anything I can do to help stimulate his business or you know get him more you know revenue like that's that's awesome all right you're doing wonderful yourself you yes, doing okay sir. yes sir how are you guys up to today uh, just a little lunch man this yeah. is it uh, lieutenant david neighbors he just recently retired i didn't know department. that congratulations yeah 34 years here. yeah there you go. i'm sorry <laughs> can you give them half off their meal uh the chief of police and the lieutenant okay thank you so much I don't think so. Do you have any questions? No, I think we're good on everything. Um, we're going to okay. finish up the menus and everything today, so. Great. That's perfect. And then if you think of anything after this call, just respond to the email that I'm going to send you, and I can address any other you know questions or concerns you might have. But mm -hmm. We just got on the phone with Chally. Laura from Chally. What's her name? Laura. Mallory. Mallory. We just got on the phone with Mallory so from Chally. Chally is a third-party integration company that integrates third-party delivery companies with our restaurant through our POS system. Did you get all that? Basically, we have DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, Postmates, uh, Caviar, all of these companies that we cook for, for like, they take like 10%, 15%, 20%, depending on the company. What Chally will do is they're going to take all of those, um, all those invoices, all of those orders, they're going to funnel them in to our POS system, auto confirm them and print them off to the culinary team. So literally it eliminates all of that work. Just all we see is the kitchen getting the tickets for the orders and the funds being siphoned into our account. So. I'm super excited. I think it's like $100 a month, but worth every penny. Chally for the win. Link below. Not sponsored. Right. Right. <laughs> they know. See you, brother. I always edit them out. You don't have to anymore. <laughs> we're, to we're, anymore. we're publicly, <laughs> publicly together now. Is it official nice. now? Yeah. Fantastic Monday we had. Uh, I want to end it with the signing of our lease for Onassis Greek Tap House and Kitchen. I'll give you guys the full disclosure on our lease agreement. Uh, we settled on $6,000 a month plus $1,225 in triple net. That's gonna be taxes, insurances, and all those things. We're gonna be paying $7,225 a month for our new location in Rockwall, Texas. We worked out six months rent-free. What that's gonna do is gonna allow us to be able to go in there and build this space out without having the burden of paying for rent. In addition to that, once we open up, we will be able to operate and recover a lot of those uh, startup cost with having the uh, rent basically non-existent. You could ask for a one year uh, rent free 
or you can ask for finish out costs. That's something that is really popular as well. Hey, hey give me $40,000 and I'll move into your space. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it when you're negotiating a lease. But with this space being so fantastic and so built out, for me, it was more lucrative to go six months rent free. And I thought I was only gonna get three months rent free, but they actually were very graceful. I think with the coronavirus, that certainly helps. You're also going to have a big paragraph in here about paying your rent. Rent's due first of the month. So and if you're late after that, you have to pay like 250 bucks uh, um, as a as a fee for a, a late payment fee uh, you can't sublease a space out and basically it's as is they just want to get paid they want to pay for their their commercial space that they have a investment on with the bank so they're trying to, to pay off their mortgage just like if you own your house there's nothing glamorous really about a commercial lease I just wanted to show you guys that we're making it happen here is Here's the signing paper right here, and we are going to sign this yes. into law. Elias Neville, if you guys are watching this, I am excited to be your tenant. I'm excited to lease your space. Thank you so much for allowing me to pay your mortgage. I, I can't wait. For all of you guys out there watching, uh, if it's your first time here, my name is Kostas Lozanis. Thank you so much for being part of the journey. We're just getting started. Hit that thumbs up button if you found this video helpful. Comment below, let me know what you thought, and I will see you guys in the next video.